Hello, this is teacher Jacob. This video is for sixth grade. So let me explain to you in Spanish. Eh, este video es para el grado sexto. Entonces, de aquí en adelante vamos a hacer las actividades. La, las actividades que ustedes hagan en el libro, eh, ustedes pueden trabajarlas ahí mismo en el libro, ¿cierto? O pueden copiar las respuestas en el cuaderno también como una evidencia que ustedes van a hacer. Entonces, es importante que para eso ustedes eh, copien en el cuaderno lo que tienen que hacer. Entonces, por ejemplo, hoy es 21 de mayo del 2020. Entonces, en, en mi cuaderno, o si quiere Pueden colocar ahí en abajo del libro, donde dice página, page 48, página 48, colocan la fecha de hoy. Entonces, hoy es mayo 21 del 2020. Para saber que ese día hicimos la, digamos, las actividades de esa página y ustedes, cuando yo revise, que puede ser para el otro mes, si tenemos clases ya eh, presenciales, entonces podamos decir el estudiante e hizo trabajo, trabajó con el video y una evidencia es que completó la, la hoja, ¿cierto? Importante entender lo que vamos a hacer, no se les olvide también, no es necesario en este momento enviar evidencias, hay que copiar en el cuaderno la fecha de hoy, 21 de mayo del, 2000, del 2020, el tema, el tema de hoy es lectura, reading a skill, comprensión lectora, ¿listo? Entonces hoy vamos a, 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 a practicar la lectura, reading a skill, y um, vamos a copiar en el cuaderno o copiamos en la hoja. Importante colocar la fecha, el tema de lo que estamos viendo hoy, ¿listo? Entonces vamos a empezar, let's start. Uh, Good morning. Remember. Remember. If you uh, want to understand a reading comprehension, it's necessary to have first vocabulary. Is I mean, is is the main, is the principal, is the main uh, idea, is the main topic, is the main. Uh, knowledge that you need to have first reading vocabulary second it's repeating repeat and repeat you know for memorizing remember when you read you are practicing or you are reviewing you are revising you are uh, helping you to write, helping you to listen, and helping you to uh, speak. If you read with me, you're gonna learn how to read, how to write, how to speak, because reading comprehension is that, okay? When you read, you are practicing your English. You're practicing a lot. That's why it's very important to, to read, to understand what are you doing. Okay, let's go. Page 48. Remember, I don't understand. I put pause and then I can continue, uh, uh, you know, continue um, doing my exercise. So I'm going to say pause one moment. So you go and pause. Remember this, uh, page 48. The idea is teacher help or teacher helps a student to complete the page 48. That's the idea that you understand. Teacher is helping us how to complete the book. So if you didn't complete, no problem. You're going to complete with me. I help you. I help you i help you okay let's go uh go to page 48 this and let's go exercise one so reading fashion in brazil fashion 
in Brazil. One, work in pairs, look at the articles and underline the best time. So, let's read the article and then we complete exercise one, two, and three. First, read the article. Let's read here, okay? Let's read here. So, activity is listen and read mentally, okay? Making connections, words, or sounds, and the letters, okay? Listen and read mentally. Let's do it. Let's go. Very slow. Let's go up here, here, let's go Brazil, Brazil, let's go Brazil. People, listen and read. People in Brazil like fashion. And clothes are important to them. Many Brazilians love bright colors and fashionable, fashionable styles but their clothes are different in different parts of the country the northern the northern the northern style isn't similar to the style in southern Brazil, for example. In the south of the country, the majority of people work on ranches. They wear jeans, cowboy hats, and cowboy boots. There is a strong Africa influence in Bahia. In the north of Brazil, women offer women often wear beautiful traditional dresses. People from the Amazon region Often wear birds and body paints. Capoeira dancers wear loose pants with a belt. Their clothes are very comfortable. Okay? Good. Continue. Pause. One moment. Pause. Remember, I don't understand. Listen and read. I don't understand. Pause. You see, it's very important to put pause. Pause. Repeat. I didn't understand, so I can put pause and then repeat again. The idea is that you listen and read mentally. Okay? So, let's continue reading this part. The green... The green and the blue part, okay? Let's go. Listen and read mentally. Rio de Janeiro is famous for its beaches. And people there often wear t-shirts, shorts, and sandals. Or swim suits. San Paulo is the business center of the country and people there often go to work in Swiss. Blue. Brazil is a unique country, but in one way it is similar to other countries in the world. 
the favorite capsule cloth for most of the people are jeans and t-shirts and sneakers. So activity one, I look at the words that I don't understand. You know, underline or circle. I make a list. Listen and read. Okay? According to this listening, to this reading, let's complete the activity. Read the fashion in Brazil. One, work in pairs, look at the article pictures and underline the best title. So, for you, what is the best title? Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, or people, fashion, whatever. So, it depends on you. So, you need to say, this is my, for me, this is the best title, according to the reading. So, you can select one part in the reading and say, this is what I think. Good. So, you remember, something that you can do is this. You can write here with your pencil here, or you can write... You can write on your notebook. So you open your notebook and copy page 48, exercise 1, and then you copy the answers, okay? Don't forget, there are two options. One option on your book. The second option on your notebook. So you open your notebook, copy page 48, exercise 1, and the answer is this. So, there are three activities, three titles for you. A. Fashion everywhere. Sounds. I hate my clothes. Hmm. C. Different people, different clothes. So, you need to choose one of them. A, B, or C. Okay? According to the reading. Two. Read the article and circle the names of the clothes. So in this moment, it's necessary you write, underline the clothes, sandals, glasses, uh, sweets, uh, pants, trousers, sneakers, uh, belts, uh, glasses, uh, t-shirts, uh, blouse, whatever, okay? In the article, it's necessary in the article. All right, so three, exercise three, work in pairs and complete, complete the table. Cloth in Brazil, jeans, cowboy hats, cowboy boots. Why? So according to the reading, so you're going to write. In the south of the country, the majority of the people work in ranches. They, they wear jeans, cowboy hats. So you copy that. And why? What is the reason? Because it's the south of the country. You copy there. All right? Not next. They are traditional. So you go for the, they are traditional. And then you complete. Uh, let me see if I can help you in this. Uh... Let me, uh, I'm checking, I'm checking here, it's out, I'm looking for it. Right. Uh, traditional cloth, uh, Brazil, unique country, but uh, in any one similar country, favorite cloth. For most of the people are jeans, t-shirts, and sneakers. So that you're going to write in this part, okay? So loose pants, but also... You, this is the people wearing. Okay, I think so. Capoeira people uh, wear pan, loose pants and, t and belt and so on. So you copy here the reason Capoeira. All right, so that's all what I want you to do. It's listen and complete the chart. Remember, you can complete the chart here or 
on your notebook, you copy page 48, exercise 1, 2, 3, and 4. Here is 4. 4. You can copy there. What do people wear to wear in your uh, What do people wear to work in your area? For example, in Bogota or in the Calera uh, uh, country, uh, town. So people, what kind of cloth people wear in La Calera? So you write, what do you like to wear? That's a not personal question for you. So how do you feel comfortable your cloth? So I prefer to use jeans. In my case, in my personal, yeah, my personal opinion, I prefer, I prefer to wear sport cloth. For me, it's comfortable and it's good. I like it. I, I prefer it because I can move. I can do whatever I want to do with cloth sport. So you tell me, what do you like to wear? So I wear pants and jeans and jackets, belts, hat, cap. I don't know. You just tell me, what do you wear? What do you like to wear? Okay. Now, Let's go to vocabulary. In this, this is my idea. My idea is that you need to look at the dictionary, the words that you don't understand in this part. So you call the cloth in the article pictures. So number one, look at the dictionary. So you need to look books, books, where is books? Oh, here. Uh, dress, uh, dresses, here. Uh, hat, uh, it's, it's, where is hat? Oh, it's here, okay? So you need to circle this cloth here in the readings, right? Good. Activity one, you're going to listen and you're going to repeat or you're going to look at the dictionary. Repeat. Boots. Boots. Repeat. Boots. Very good. Dress. Dress. Repeat. Good. Hat. Hat. Yes. Jeans. Simple. Jeans. Good. Pants. Repeat. Pants. Very good. Neck lance. Repeat. Neck lance. Repeat. Neck lance. Good. Shorts. Repeat, shorts, Sh shorts, repeat, good, S sneakers, S sneakers, 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 belt, repeat, belt, repeat, belt, t-shirt, repeat, t Shirt, two sounds. T shirt, T shirt, T shirt. Repeat, T shirt. Repeat. Good, T shirt. Good. Now, finally, what you need to do is to complete the sentences. At school, I wear. Imagine you are in the school. So you have to assist to the school. So what kind of clothes do you wear? So I wear pants. What color? Green pants, blue pants, what? Jeans. Okay? At school. Be at home. Wait at the moment. Okay, now tell me at the moment what do you wear? What are you wearing now? Now, now, what are you wearing? In my case, I am wearing a blouse. I am wearing a t-shirt. I'm wearing a sport cloth because I like it. I'm wearing glasses. All right. And C, finally, number six. When you go out with your friends, I wear. So what do you wear when you go out? When you have like a, a party, when you go to the restaurants, 
or when you go to the mall, when you go to shopping. So what do you wear? Tell me. What do you wear? I wear what? So you have to write. Bye-bye. This is Teacher Jacob. Bye-bye. I hope so you have enjoyed with me. Bye-bye.